This is the back stitch. I'm going to stitch these few little scallops that I have drawn here. And you're going to come up inside your line of stitching and then you're going to go back down at the beginning. So that's the end of my line of stitching. You do your back, your first little back stitch ahead and then you go back into that first little hole. The same hole. Sometimes you have to move your knot out of the way uh, from underneath. So you're going to come up ahead in the line of stitching. And then you'll go back down in that same hole. And this creates a very nice straight line of stitching. And so you can do this for, um, of course, straight lines or little curved lines that you want. We're going to embellish this in a little bit, so we'll go on to that. But for right now, I just want you to learn how to do this back stitch. You'll use back stitch a lot when you're stitching. Some people call it the outline stitch also. So you can see that it is important that when you come up ahead, that you stay on your line of focus of where you want to travel. And also when you go back down, you want to go right in that same hole. If you go to the side, it changes the look of your stitch, the direction of it. And so it'll be nice and even and in a straight line. If you do those two things, come up in your line of stitching and go back down right in that same hole. Now that I said that, why can't I do it, huh? You can use a chenille needle with this, especially if you're doing um, a pearl cotton. But this stitch is beautiful no matter what thread you use. And just use the needle that fits the thread. I want to show you how to turn the corner down here. You do want to kind of space your stitches so that you end um, with a consistent sized stitch right here. So you go right into that corner, come out, and then you'll just come up ahead down this next line and back down into that very end corner. To tie off this stitch, you would just go to the back and tie it off on the stitches that are on the back. So I've got a little knot there. You can um, stab stitch the stitch like I'm doing, or you can sew stitch it. I have a tendency to be much straighter when I stab stitch. Stab stitching means that you go up and down in different stitches. I go up and pull the thread. I go down and pull the thread. So it's in two separate motions. Okay, I think I'm going to end this. This is called the back stitch. I'm going to finish up these lines and then we'll do something else fun with them. This is the back stitch or the outline stitch.